welcome back with another video lecture in this video lecture the topic under discussion is benign prostatic hyperplasia before starting bph we must know about prostate so prostate is a walnut size exocrine or ducted gland which belongs to male reproductive system it lies just below then urinary bladder the prostate gland wrapped around the urethra at the site where it start from urinary bladder also the prostate gland secrete a white fluid or milky fluid that mixed with spermatozoa and passed out through urethra during sexual intercourse or ejaculation the secretion of prostate gland serve is a lubricants and nutrition for male sex cells or spermatozoa now let's have a look at benign prostatic hyperplasia or enlarged prostate the benign prostatic hyperplasia also called prostatic hypertrophy it is a condition in which the prostate gland enlarge in size and leads to urethral blockage this increase of prostate gland is not considered is malignant but it is considered as benign because it is not a cancer and it does not increase the risk of cancer when greater increase in prostate tissue it will apply pressure on male urethra result in urine flow blockage this blockage causing large number of excretory pr problems and uti or urinary tract infections then we have causes of bph first is unknown cause but also bph is most common in aged male about 50% of male who aged or above 50 years have some degree of bph but majority of them have significant of urinary blockage which is medically emergency here we have normal prostate and enlarged prostate the enlarged prostate or benign prostatic hyperplasia is result in hormonal changes and is considered as normal part of male aging as the age of male increase prostate tissues enlarge and the rate of cell number increase by male hormones that result in enlargement of prostate gland and compress the urethra causing urinary blockage then we have sign and symptoms of benign prostatic hyperplasia at early stage bph are asymptomatic then in later stage urinary obstruction followed by frequent urination during periods of sleep at night always dysuria which is painful or burning when urinating urinary hesitancy is a condition in which urine flow is stopped before your bladder is empty that is urine pass from urethra in intervals also decrease force of urinary stream so these all are the sign and symptoms of benign prostatic hyperplasia then we have diagnostic evaluation of prostatic benign hyperplasia they include urine analysis with more severe bph blood urea nitri nitrogen will measured also advise cbc or complete blood count to check wbc count cesto urethroscopy which is procedure that let a urologist to view inside of the bladder and urethra next prostate ultrasound sonography and PSA test for prostate screening now there are two types of medication used for bph they include 5 alpha reductase inhibitors which inhibit dihydro testosterone hormone which responsible for prostate enlargement 
they actually reduce the prostate size then we have another medicine alpha blockers these drugs relax the smooth muscles of the prostate and the bladder neck thus relieving or prevent urine blockage alpha blocker do not reduce the prostate size also antibiotic like norfloxacin, ofloxacin and ciprofloxacin can be used. Symptomatic treatment or management include antipyretic and analgesic drugs, for example non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, SIDS bath and avoiding activities that cause prostate irritation like bicycling or prolonged sitting and also antispasmodic agents can be used for those patient who does not respond to medication transurethral microwave therapy can be used sometime invasive treatment are available for bph these are not surgical therapy in this therapy a urologist used heat to cause prostatic cell death or necrosis in prostate tissue specifically the heat is delivered in small amount and to a specific location to minimize unwanted damage of other tissues then we have trans urethral resection procedure this procedure is surgical procedure for removal of prostate tissue through urethra this procedure has been around for a long time and is still considered gold standard for the treatment of severe BPH. Nowadays this procedure is usually performed when medications are less effective and transurethral microwave method fails. The complication of benign prostatic hyperplegia include urethritis, epididymitis, prostatic abscess, acute urinary retention nursing management include hyperthermia related to infectious process acute pain related to prostatic infection and chronic pain related to chronic prostatitis thanks for watching